Hi you guys, it's Deborah, and welcome to another episode of The Deborah Show where we're going to be making some raw marinated kale salad and it's one of the most simple, easy, and totally staple recipes of the raw food diet. So I just wanted to show you. I've got some kale and I'm just taking it off the stem with this crazy method of just pulling it out. I'm going to um, put it all on the cutting board. I've already washed it. And this is a leafy green kale. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the stems in my marinade. I'm going to save them. They're really great for juicing, actually. I love to save my kale stems and put them straight into my green juice. So anyway, just getting this all ready. And the way you do it is you hold onto the stem. You just pull. That was kind of a, here we go. It just comes right off. It's pretty wild. So... This is one bunch of kale that I've washed, and now I'm going to chop it up in little bite-sized pieces, and I'm going to be putting it into the bowl. And I love this recipe because it's so quick and easy, and it's really hearty too. We're going to put some avocado in here in a second. So what we have is, oops, one of my kale flew into the olive oil. We're going to put a tablespoon of cold pressed olive oil into our salad. Then we're going to put about a half to one teaspoon of Celtic sea salt or pink Himalayan sea salt. And then we're going to put some lemon juice. This is actually a lime. Um, and I'm just doing it the super, the super, um, what do you call it? Just, I don't have my lemon juicer with me right now, so I'm just kind of squeezing. And because there wasn't a ton of juice in that half, I think I'm actually going to use both halves of my lime here. You can use lemon or lime. And pretty much the key ingredients are the olive oil, the sea salt, and the lemon. And anything else that you add is just flavor. But that's going to make it really nice, the marinade. So I'm just squeezing this all in. There happened to be no seeds in that lime, so it was really easy. Um, I'm going to take my garlic clove, and I'm going to press it in the garlic press like this. And I actually like to use a knife just to scrape that off of there. And then, this is a really fun press, I like it. You can kind of readjust and then get a little more out and scrape that off. I just use one garlic clove, and then I'm going to put the rest in there. The reason I'm not washing my hands yet is because we're about to get really messy, and one thing that I don't always advertise to people is I'm actually attuned to Reiki, which is an energy healing, and really all of us have the capacity to heal with our energy and put our love into the food, and the kale salad is really a great chance to do that. So I've opened up my avocado. And I'm feeling pretty avocado-y today, so I'm going to end up using the whole thing. And I'm just getting this uh, pit out, and then I'm scoring it like this. And we're going to scoop it out with a spoon in just a second, but I'm going to start to pre-marinate my salad. So I'm going to get my hands in there, and I'm going to start massaging the kale like this. And I'm kind of squeezing it and rubbing the sea salt and the lemon and the olive oil all into the kale. And it's pretty amazing because what it does is it wilts the kale down to the point where it seems like almost like a sautéed kale that you would make, you know, with like some olive oil and garlic in a pan, but it's actually raw. And it really breaks it down and makes the texture super like soft and nice. And I like to marinate it like this and massage it before I add the avocado because I don't want the avocado to be totally creamed. I want to see a few chunks in there afterwards. So anyway, that's done. And um, I'm going to grab a spoon to scoop the avocado out. And so we have our avocado over here. So I'm just going to scoop that in, and this is kind of a small avocado, so I'm going to use the whole thing. So that's in, and then my final step is just um, 
giving it another little massage, getting some of the chunks broken up a little more and woven in. And I just love the way the avocado kind of balances with the, with the lemon juice and the sea salt. It all just kind of harmonizes together and it's so amazing. So I'm going to show you what this looks like now that it's all done. This is my very special bowl that I bartered with someone at the Michigan Women's Music Festival probably in like 2001 and that I saved all these years. I think the other ones I got from her all um, broke. <laughs> but this is the one that's lasted. So I'm going to grab my um, serrated knife and I'm just going to decorate a little bit. I've got a really nice heirloom tomato that I got from the local farmer's market. And I love garnishing. Right now it's summertime here in Southern California and tomatoes are just like the hot item. So this one is super juicy. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just going to chop up a little tomato here. This one is like so juicy that I'm not really giving you a good cutting technique. I'm just trying to salvage what I can out of this tomato because it's so ripe. But then we can take this and we can go around the edges and we can put one in the middle. And this is like a beautiful meal for one that, or it could be a side dish for two. But it's um, kale salad, marinated kale salad. It's one of my favorite just staple recipes and one that I hear over and over that people remember like, oh, you taught me how to make kale salad. That was like the best life skill I ever learned. And it really is. And you can eat it like this, or I sometimes will take a nori sheet, a raw nori sheet, and roll it into a nori roll and eat it like on the go. So that's a great way too. So thanks guys, and have fun making your kale salad.